going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return a subscriber. As always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, you know there are many different stereotypes out here. Most of them are uh, connected to race. And it can be any type of stereotype. You know what I mean? Nationality, whatever. And uh, a lot of times on my channel, for me being a black person, I talk about... Uh, Stereotypes or speak against stereotypes that when people commit crimes, it feeds a stereotype about people that look like me. There are also other uh, races out there that probably feel the same way. I'm going to show you something. This story took place in Willoughby, Ohio this past weekend, this past week, right? It's about this lady pictured up here. Her name is Zaria Richardson. Woman was in line, a school line, you know, with, uh, you know, waiting to pick her children up. She was in her car when a neighbor in the area came up to her, started acting a fool with her. I don't know if she was blocking her parking, her uh, driveway or what, but for some odd reason, this woman felt as though she had to go to this woman's car, curse the woman, throw the N-word several times, and uh, think nothing should happen to her, I guess. Take a look at this, and I'm going to come back and talk about it, because I'm going to be honest with you. Some people just need to get punched in the face real hard. They do. They do. This type of behavior don't get us nowhere as people, and it d definitely don't get us... Uh, Nowhere as citizens in this country. This woman looked crazy. Take a look. Smack you. You're a Oh! Oh! She called me a Chaos in the carpool line. A mom wants police to do more after this scary encounter as he tried to pick up her kids after school. The mom says she was verbally attacked by a neighbor. Police ticketed that woman, but the racial slurs that were flying have started an uproar. Here's Aria Janelle. I asked her, can she call the police? And that's what she did. Zaria Richardson tells me last week she was sitting in her car outside of Edison Elementary School waiting to pick up her three kids when things went from calm to terrifying. The car line started to move and then we see a car fly around into oncoming traffic and almost cause an accident. The driver pulled into a nearby driveway and that's when Richardson said things escalated. And she started name calling and the racial slurs and trying to hit me through my car window. Can we call the police please? She says this continued as she pulled out her phone and started to record. Richardson says it wasn't until another parent got out of their car and called 911 that things started to slightly calm down. If you harassing this woman, you are harassing me. I couldn't imagine if she wasn't there, honestly. Um, things like this you see every day, you know, and sometimes you have people who are good to you and help you through. According to Willoughby Police, the neighbor was given a citation for disorderly conduct. Other neighbors tell 19 News that it can be tough getting to your house during pickup time. Why? Wait, get out of my car. For the last Please. time. Richardson went to the police station on Saturday because she doesn't think the punishment for that neighbor was enough. Especially learning that she had prior incidents like this. I really think that something else needs to happen. Um, maybe community service. She needs to just learn more. But police disagreed. Richardson said she was told the citation was sufficient. Our team reached out to Edison Elementary. We were told since it didn't happen on school grounds, they couldn't comment on the matter. But Richardson says the principal did give her a call and told her she was sorry about what happened. I had so many friends that were not my skin color who saw it and they were furious. Richardson says this incident also prompted her to have a conversation with her own children. And you let them know that everyone's not like this person and you just have to have faith in people. In Willoughby, I'm Aria Janelle, 19 News. All right, guys, that's the story. First thing is this. This woman, as you can see, is an idiot. She talked all that trash when she was near her house. She pulled her ass out on the woman. Goofy stuff. That right there is what people call a Karen. That was Karenistic behavior. You arguing about something 
that's temporary and something you know the reason why it is, but you want to sit up there and make a fuss about it. The people was in the street driving down the street. You couldn't get in your driveway because the traffic was lined up, but you lived there and you know when school hours are. So what you mad for? Then you run up on this black woman, cussing at her. You throw the N word. You know what I'm saying? She's an older woman. It's a younger woman. You throw the N word. And by all accounts, in my opinion, she should have jumped out and knocked your teeth out. She should have. In this day and age, you coming out your mouth like that, hell, other white people don't want to want that shit around them or want to be associated with that. Why? Because it's a big stereotype with, that says white people are all racist. Do I believe that? No. But I'm telling you right now, this woman make the rest of the lot of the people in that neighborhood look bad. Not only did the insult come out of her mouth, she not, I heard her say it twice, but a lot of times when that type of stuff happens, it's not only a reflection of that person and how they feel, but a lot of times it overflows, whether it's justly or unjustly, on this is how this neighborhood is. And it might not even be like that. Everybody that's white in that neighborhood, or everybody that's white that was out there should have took turns kicking her up her ass. Because that right there was despicable. It was. You did all of that talking. Pulled your ass out, walked your ass back. The other white lady said, what you insulting and harassing that woman for? She turned on her. Started going off. This lady right here come across to me like one of them people that every time she's mad at somebody or she's on TV, I mean, or, or, or something's on TV that she don't like, first thing she'd do is attack it with either a negative stereotype or attack it by race. I don't know this woman, but I know that type. She's probably sitting up in there thinking nothing to happen to her or she doing this stuff and she think the law is a certain way and all of this other stuff. And she thinks she can say what she wants as long as she's standing on her property. But see, you can throw an insult and it's up to the other person to take it a certain way. And when somebody takes an insult the wrong way and busts you in your shit from something that come out your mouth, you shouldn't have no reason to be upset after you the one that started the shit. And that's my thing. Now, this woman right here, I got to give her credit, man. She had dignity. She handled that like a woman. She was shocked, but she didn't jump out the car, act the fool with her and all this other stuff because she had her own camera. That was the proof. Now, that lady's face is all over the Internet. She can't say it wasn't her. Her house is right there. If you slow down, you can look at her house. See what, what house she was in? She made herself look bad. If that was my uh, wife and she did some stuff like that, I would handle her. For real. I would handle her. You know what I'm saying? They need to have the news to her house and see what she say then. See if the media go to her house. I would just cause a whole shitstorm with her because she, she already started herself, but I would just embarrass her. The community to come out and just say something, get in her ass. They do. Another thing is this, with this whole situation, right? You did all of this stuff. As far as like saying all that verbal stuff, right? If you look back at it for what it is, and what I mean is, this woman was angry because somebody was blocking her driveway, right? Came up to the car, they had an exchange of words. You could have left it at that. This ain't the first time or the last time somebody's going to drive down your street and block your driveway waiting for kids. You could have you handled it a different way. But if this lady had jumped out the car and hit her, she would have sued and tried to act like everything was wrong. The point that, that I'm trying to make is this. This woman did something wrong. She's in the uproar now because she was ticketed. The school has nothing to do with that lady doing that. That was a circumstantial situation. So the school is not going to do nothing. Like they said, it's ha it didn't happen on school grounds. But the police can only ticket you. You can't ticket somebody for saying something crazy out of their mouth. 
You could only ticket somebody when fisticuffs happen. So the lady handled it the right way. Me, I would have went to jail. But I mean, come on, man. This is crazy. You know, and then the thing is, it, you know, she threw that word out. Like, you know, it was poison or it was going to make the, make the girl shrink or like disappear into nothing. The only power in words is the power that, you know, words only have power when they have that effect that the person pushing the slur out was trying to do by upset somebody else. You see what I'm saying? That lady did the right thing, man. But I mean, that shit she did, man, that's, that, that, that make the whole neighborhood look bad, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Every time she drive to go get her kids now, she drive past that lady house, she think about that shit. It is what it is. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, talking bad about somebody, you know, the way they look and stuff, stuff they can't help. And talking about them being black, like that's a badge of shame. That's stupid as hell. That woman really showed her lack of uh, intelligence and ignorance in that community. I wouldn't be surprised if she don't get along with nobody. And if something never happened to her, nobody would come to her aid because she's just an asshole like that. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.